the state capitol flooded earlier this week, but it did not bring a flood of Democrats back to the special session in Austin. It's now been about 40 days since they flew to Washington, D.C. to try to stop a vote on that Republican-led elections bill. Some of them are still there. Some have returned to Texas. And joining us now is Democratic State Representative Ron Reynolds from Missouri City. He's part of that group who is still in D.C. And Representative, we appreciate your time today. It's an honor to be on with you. Thanks for having me. Well, the Speaker of the House has issued civil arrest warrants for all the missing Democrats, but there hasn't been much of an effort to detain anyone. So what's the latest there? Well, unfortunately, the House uh, under Speaker Dave Phelan has taken extreme measures to issue a warrant, warrants for the arrest of 52 Democrats, me being one of them, that were not on the House floor so that they could make a quorum. Uh, it is a call on the House with a warrant being executed so that they can make a civil arrest where a law enforcement would have the authority to take us against our will and haul us to the House chamber so that we can make a quorum. That has happened. Uh, I think it is unprecedented, and I think that it is an extreme measure for an extreme voter suppression bill. But as long as you remain in Washington, the threat of arrest doesn't really affect you, right? Well, it, it doesn't, but but here's the thing, David. Uh, I uh, The Senate has recessed, and I am looking forward to leaving uh, Washington, D.C., so I don't feel comfortable leaving until that warrant is lifted, because at any moment, I could be taking my kids to school. I could be uh, in uh, my district office. Uh, I could be anywhere, and I could be subject to arrest. So I will remain uh, in Washington, D.C. until that warrant is lifted so that I can stay out of the jurisdiction of Texas law enforcement. Well, let's talk a little bit about what's happening in Congress, because Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer has started putting the For the People Act up for a vote, and the House of Representatives is going to take up the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. Getting those through has been the priority for the Texas Democrats. So how do you feel about the status of those two bills? Well, I was very pleased that uh, Leader Schumer brought the bill before uh, the Senate for a vote. Uh, that was great because we have been working since we left Texas to get that bill to the floor. I was even more disappointed, though, that a Texan, U.S. Senator Ted Cruz, objected so that they couldn't bring the bill to the floor. So basically, he used the filibuster to kill it because of any senator objected, then, then they couldn't bring it forward. He brought it up on a unanimous consent. That is that is troubling to me uh, because uh, Senator Cruz represents a state uh, that knows that this bill was uh, part of Donald Trump's big lie and that it's a solution in search of a problem. So for Senator Cruz to do that, he basically uh, stop the progress and, and stop uh, us from getting federal voting rights legislation passed. So uh, I'm very pleased with uh, the progress that we had made, but equally disappointed that a, a Texan uh, stopped it. And the reason why I'm so disappointed, not just because it impacts Texans, but you think about Texas. We had a Texas president, Lyndon Baines Johnson, signed the Voting Rights Act some 56 years ago on August the 6th of 1965. We had another Texas president, George Bush, that was the president that reauthorized the Voting Rights Act, and it passed the Senate 98 to nothing. And here we are in 2021, and we've gone so far backwards under, you know, since Trump has been president, and Senator Cruz, to me, is doing nothing but the bidding of, of former President Donald Trump and promoting the big lie. So I'm very, I'm, 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 I'm excited on one hand that there was some progress and equally disappointed on the other hand that it was killed. How big a role do you think that you and your colleagues have had in the progress that has been made? Or do you think that these bills could have gotten this far if you hadn't been in DC? It's been expressed to us uh, that it would not have, that basically voting rights was on the back burner, that we, our presence, our advocacy, our lobbying, our sacrifice, everything that we've done uh, for the past month has helped move and advance the ball and the conversation forward. We kept it on the front burner in terms of the conversation uh, and the news cycle. So yes, I think uh, based upon uh, the senators and congressmen and women, they, that we have made a tremendous difference. I'm so proud of my colleagues for fighting the good fight, uh, for sacrificing our time away from our families, our husbands, our wives, our children, our businesses, to fight for democracy. Even though we didn't reach our goal that we set, 
when we came here, we have advanced the cause of justice forward. And I hope after the August recess that Congress will pick this ball up and they'll finish what they started. More with Representative Reynolds coming up after the break, including his thoughts on those members of the Democratic caucus who have broken rank and returned to Austin. So stay with us.